All right then, gang. So we've seen in the last couple of lessons how to enter into the MongoDB shell to communicate with our databases and also how to use MongoDB Compass, the GUI tool, to see the data in our databases. So going forward, we're going to use a combination of these two tools, the shell and also Compass. Now, at the moment, we can see inside Compass that we have a database called Bookstore, and inside that, a books collection. And in the books collection, we have a few book documents. We added those documents through Compass a couple of lessons ago. So now I want to show you how to add documents to a collection from the shell as well. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we're in the correct database. Now, currently we're in the test database, so we want to switch to the bookstore so we can add those book documents. So I'm going to say use and then bookstore, which is the name of the database we want to use. And now we're switched to that. All right. So once we're in the bookstore, we first of all need to reference a collection in order to put a document inside it. Right now to do that, we say DB, which is the current database that we're in that references the database. Remember, if we press enter, we can see that that's bookstore. So we say DB and then dots and then whatever the collection is called. Now we created a collection called books like so. So we can say db.books and that would reference essentially the books collection. Now, if I press enter, we can see that it's bookstore.books. So I'm gonna say db.books and then we can use a method on this called insert one. So this function right here is going to insert a single document into the books collection. And inside the parentheses right here, we pass an argument. And that argument is essentially an object which represents the book that we want to add. So remember, our books have a few different properties. Let's just take a look at what those properties were. They have a title, an author, pages, and genres, which is an array of different genres, and also a rating, okay? So let's now, add these different properties inside the object that we just created. We don't have to add the ID, by the way. MongoDB automatically assigns a unique ID when we create a document. So let's go back over here and let's first of all add the title property. So I'll say title and I'm just going to say the color of magic like so. We also need an author, which is Terry Pratchett. So Terry Pratchett. I think that's how you spell his name, not 100%. And then after that, we need the number of pages. Now, I'm just going to guess. I'm going to select 300. We also need, after that, the rating, which I'm going to give a 7. After the rating, we also need a genres property. So let's do that as well. And this is an array. I'm going to put in here fantasy and also magic. I know that's not a real genre, but whatever for me it is. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. We have the title, the author, the pages, the rating, and the genres. And all of these properties go inside this object right here that we passed into the insert one method, right? So when we do that, it's going to interact with our books collection to add this new document. And MongoDB is also going to auto create the ID property. So press enter. And now we can see this response right here. So this is an object we get back to say, it's acknowledged our request and the ID of the document is just inserted. So it's created this object ID and applied it to the document we've just created. Now, if I go back to Compass over here, then if I refresh this, we can see now we have five documents. And if I scroll down, I should see the color of magic as well. Awesome. So it's added that document for us. We've added a single new document using this method, which was insert one, all right? And by the way, you don't need a collection to exist for you to insert a new document. So for example, I could say DB and then authors, which is the author's collection. That doesn't exist at the minute. If we take a look inside Compass, we only have the books collection, right? This one right here. So that doesn't exist yet, but it doesn't matter. I can still insert one like so. And let's just say I want to give this a name property. And the name is going to be Brandon Sanderson, like so. And let's also say an age property. Really don't know how old Brandon Sanderson is. I'm going to guess at 60. Press enter. Now, it's still going to insert this document, even though the author's collection doesn't exist. And I can verify that by going over here and then going to the bookstore. And if I refresh over here, 
then we can see the new authors collection as well. All right, so if we go into that, we can see now we have a document inside that collection. Now, I actually don't want this collection, so I'm gonna delete this. And also over here, I'm going to drop the collection because I don't want the authors collection. So let me just copy authors right here and paste it in and drop that collection. So now we only have the one collection again. I just wanted to show you that we don't actually have to have a collection already existing for you to insert a document into it. If there's not a collection already called authors, when we try to insert a document, it will create it for us, okay? So that's how to insert a single document using this method, insert one. But we can also insert many documents at once. And to do that, we just use a different method. So this time we say DB again to go into the database. And then after that, we say the collection name, which is gonna be books. And then we want to use the method insert many. So we use this function if we want to insert more than one document at once. And then inside here, we just pass through an array of different objects where each object represents a single document we want to add. Now, instead of writing these out from scratch, I'm going to copy and paste them from my notepad. Woohoo! Oops, we've lost the terminal. Let me open that back up again. So I'm going to grab those and I'm going to paste them inside here. So we have two documents right here. We have this one, then a comma, and then the next document as well. So the first one is the light fantastic, and the second one is June. So if we press enter now, hopefully it will add both of those documents. And we can see acknowledged is true, and we can see the IDs that it has inserted for both of these documents. And we can verify if they've been added by going to compass, then going into this collection, and if we refresh over here, then we should see seven documents, and we do. Let's try and find them. Should be near the bottom, the light fantastic, and also June, awesome. So there we go, my friends. That's how we can add documents to our database using the shell. We have those two methods, insert one to insert a single document, and also insert many to insert many documents which are inside an array.